Three D audio is gonna Sony be the game the world of the digital generation. I'm pretty sure Tech Mobile has a speed run. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to this week's Most Elite podcast. I know, I know, it's been a few days. I apologize. I'll tell you the the honest reason. It's been a few days. It's like right after we did that weekend episode or whatever with Mishi. Like I got an infection in my mouth, and uh, I'm coming up in a couple of days on the twentieth. You know, my teeth pulled, right? So, like, it decided to give me one last fuck you and uh, fuck my mouth up. So, I had to go to the dentist and get some antibiotics because I was just, I couldn't even open my mouth. That's how bad it was. It was just, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I was, it was the worst ever. So, you know, I got the antibiotics and they've been doing a hell of a job and making me feel like not doing terrible things. So, we're back. We can talk. We can breathe. We can laugh. We can yell without... Uh, pain and all those things prior I couldn't do so we are back it's 4 a.m. we we got work today doesn't matter you know we, we squeeze these in when we get them and if, if any fans of the channel at this point know uh, you might hear my AC in the background I doubt it I hope you don't hear it so yeah here we are we, we are, we're rocking we're rocking the 4 a.m. podcast in um so I'm thinking maybe I'll, what I'll do is, and like I don't have a game or anything in front of me, as I said, I have work in the morning. And like, I like to get up. This is a pro tip for anybody who works early or who just works. Not even early. If you, if you, if you have a job that you go to or you do, or you, you love it, don't love it, is a, a pro tip for working people is to, when you wake up, do something for yourself first before you do anything to do with work do something for you so you start the day with you and not for some fucking corporation or whatever that just doesn't care you know they don't they can replace you if you quit they're gonna fire you randomly they're gonna do whatever they want jobs are terrible they are at least my experience i haven't had a job that has been like yeah i'm gonna work today right so every morning or every afternoon whenever whatever your schedule is when you get up and you have work that day do do something for yourself and uh, start the day right. You know, start the day about you, and then you go into work having accomplished something. That's that's why the four AM podcast sort of fits that role for me. Because prior, I would have to figure something out. Maybe I'll maybe I like exercise. Obviously, right? You know, you get up. It's I I went to I finally got health insurance recently. You know, personal information, and I didn't have I didn't have had health insurance in a long time. So I finally got it. I went to the doctors and I got it all checked out. And you know, I'm 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 healthy, but I'm I'm a little overweight considering it for the past year and a half now, two years. I've just been in the house because of everything outside the T virus. And like while I exercise at home, it's not like enough. So now I'm I'm gonna like buy a home gym. You know, I gotta lose. Well, let's, let's, let's go for like forty. You know, let's, let's go for forty pounds. If I lose forty pounds in the next three months, right? I'll I'll feel a little bit better. Uh. But yeah, so do something. I used to do that in the morning. and exercise in the morning. I got the Ring Fit. Very powerful tool for exercising. Very powerful. Thinking of booting it up later. Uh, after I'm done working. Uh, so, you know. But yeah, definitely do something for you. It'll feel much better going into work and having to do something for someone else for so long. And I know people are like, well, work is for me. It gets me money. Work isn't for you. Work is something you need to do because of societal rules right you have to do it but it shouldn't be your entire life and the money shouldn't be the reason you go and do it It like well what i should say is the money should be the only reason you go and do it not because like you love this thing or whatever and i know like what about art is work that sort of becomes a different conversation doesn't it like if you're an artist and you're lucky enough to make money off your art you have what, what i would call a hobby that pays you you know you're supposed to have three hobbies one that keeps you fit one that keeps you paid, and one that keeps you happy, right? You got lucky, and you have a hobby that pays you, which is good. You need that, right? But that's a different conversation than the one we're having here. I think definitely figure out what what makes you happy, even if it's a small happiness. I'm not talking like the overall, overarching happiness feeling, because I think that's an impossible dream. I really do. I don't think we should spend our lives trying to be happy either. I think happiness, like sadness, like all the feelings... They're they're transient, they're in motion, they come and they go, and you shouldn't spend your life chasing one or the other. You know, that shit is insanity. So find something that makes you happy in a moment or two. 
do that in the morning. Even if it's just like putting on a podcast and being like, and I know I'm saying that like while doing a podcast, I, this is not a way for me to say, go listen to my podcast in the morning. That is not what I'm saying here. I'm saying even something as small as that could be the thing you do for you in the morning. Because I really do th- believe you need to. You really should live for you. The first thing you do when you wake up, you brush your teeth, you use the bathroom, you know, take a shower if you didn't the night before. You know what I mean? Just get your head right, get your head on straight, and then be like, all right, what am I going to do today for me before I go and slave away? Because that's what we're doing here. We're slaving away, right? I mean, I don't want to be a shock jock like, wake up, Vietnam. Like, I don't, I'm not that guy. But we are doing that, you know? And that's it's unfortunate. That's what the situation we're born into. But, yeah, do something for you. Figure it out, you know? Uh, any letter, ki- letter Kenny fans out there were like, figure it out, you know? But, yeah, definitely figure it out and do it in the morning. Do that. And you'll feel you'll feel good. I promise. You'll feel like every day when you wake up, you won't be, oh, i got to wake up for work tomorrow. It'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to wake up and I have work tomorrow, but I can I can do these things for me. And, like, this podcast is going to be weird because I don't know where to, uh, I'm going to have to record a game and put it around this talk and it's, it's going to have nothing to do with the game and depending on the game i might actually want to talk about the game so I'll, maybe i've backed myself into a corner here with this uh but this early morning 4am series podcast i did do the 4am series uh before but maybe we'll title it something else maybe we'll uh yeah we'll just put you know we'll just put games around these ones the ones i record during the day are the ones that i can talk about the game and play the game and do the let's play uh, the 4 a.m. ones are just ones that I'm just talking. Uh, the cool thing with the 4 a.m. ones is I can actually get gaming news. So let's let's get some news. I normally have my thing set up here, but last night I went to sleep super early because I had to be up super early today. This is a work day. So if you don't work days, oh, that's, that's, that's a good piece of gaming news that I care about. Possibly Remedy is working on Island Wake 2. They have a full game in production that we know about. We don't know what it is. We know they're making Control 2 and a Control spinoff. So it might be one of those three. Either Control 2, Control spinoff, or Island Wake 2 right now. Because they are they are definitely, they definitely have a game in production. So that's exciting for me because I'm a huge fan of the Remedy uh, Game Studio. I'm a huge fan of all of their work. Starting, going back to Max Payne, which I love. And, you know, Island Wake was amazing and fun. I liked... See, I don't know if a lot of people liked it, but I like Quantum Break. Thought it was awesome. Sean Ashmore's the main character. You know, we have a lot, a lot of high-profile talent in that game. Uh, so Lance Reddick, it plays one of the villains. It, Lance Reddick is the man. He's a violin in Destiny, which I give him a pass for. I don't, you know, it's all sucks. But Lance Reddick is awesome, and all the stuff he's in is just fucking amazing. So, and he always plays like an antagonist. I've never seen Lance Reddick as like a good guy. He's always either a pseudo antagonist or like he's a shady guy, but he's not really out to get the hero, you know. Whatever. I mean, Zavala Zavala's a good guy, right? So I guess that's okay. But yeah. I like Quantum Break. So when Control came out, I ranted and raved about it forever. I did a podcast on on this channel with Nishi. Uh because I I really love that game. Uh, I rebought it on PC. I think I'm a hundred percent it again just so I can have that under my belt for when 2 comes out even though I already 100% it on PlayStation but I've moved on from PlayStation I'm now I'm definitely a PC main game I have a Switch so I have to turn that on occasionally but I don't like, I recently moved right right so my, my PlayStation 5 was in storage by storage I mean it was in a suitcase in a corner of my room just sitting there and I, I like I had no reason to turn it on and that's I mean, that's kind of sad, but also it's not because I have all the exclusives that I wanted from it that are that are currently available. So when more comes out, I'll have a reason to turn it back on, right? At least that's how I'm looking at it. I don't think... I don't think it's a, it's a stress to say that, it, that there is, it's missing... It's missing some software right now. There's no games out. There's no games out for it. And that sucks. Because I wish... I wish I had a reason to turn it on. 
Hellraiser's Pinhead is coming to Dead by Daylight. So that's really exciting. They have such sights to show you. You know, Hellraiser is one of my favorite movie series. One and two are just fantastic. The rest, what do you do, right? That's just like all, all movies with the exception. Of, the movies that escape that are Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween. Because there's some, there's some bad ones in those franchises, right? But there are so many more good ones versus bad ones in those franchises that are just like, okay, they really pulled it together here. They got something special here. And I think the Hellraisers are special too. I really do enjoy that universe. I just think the movies haven't really grown with the name. Like the name got bigger than the movie, if that makes sense. Kind of weird, but that's how I feel about it. And I, I want those movies. I wish they would make another one. I wish they would make a new age. Sort of like what they did. Oh. Probably. Sort of like what they did with uh, Pennywise recently with it. Dude, that, that, that remake movie, 2018, whatever that was, amazing film. That movie was so good. See, I saw it three times. I saw it twice in the theaters. I saw, uh, I saw it with friends, without friends. See, I'm a, I'm, I like to watch movies alone. I don't really like to share my movie-going experience. It's sort of a personal thing for me. You know, I, I really love movies and everything that goes into making them. So, like, for me, it's... It's almost like a worship, you know, I'm worshiping at the altar of cinema. And I feel like it's private, right? Is, is, isn't that private? <laughs> so, yeah, I the part two of that movie, you know, wasn't as good as one. Production values went up. Obviously, they had more money. The, they had more creature scenes and stuff. And they had more backstory, which is amazing, amazing stuff. Just one felt better. Like, watching one. The pacing was amazing. The introductions of the characters didn't last too long. It got to the point really quick. Two had a lot more to do in terms of explaining Pennywise and explaining how they're going to beat him and showing that these people were, even if they didn't remember their time in the town, they were forever altered by their time in that town. And it had a lot more to do. So while I did like it a lot, I really did. I think one's a better watch. Like if you haven't seen it, it part one or it part two, Obviously, you're going to start with part one in the series, even though you don't have to. But definitely part one is part one is so good that they just they really had something special there. So. Oh, my God, we're a little over the time here. All right, we're, we're done with this episode. We're going to get back. We're going to get back with the get back next time. Uh, thank you for watching and staying for as long as you all have. It really means a great deal to me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe or don't. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.